Hello, chat. It's me. It's your boy. Uh, I am just getting ready right here. The game should be launching as I speak. I'm doing good. That was a great run of uh, Civilization. I conquering two, pretty much quashing what was left of Scythia, along with steamrolling Persia, filled me with immense happiness. Not so great for Persia. Indeed, it was not. All right. Looking for a game to capture. Well, a game is up, so let me just double check to see if you're picking it up. Oh, hello, Tabletop Audio. I thought I got rid of you. There we go. All right, there's the game. Cliffmaster, thank you for the 36-month resub. Yes, four sub-babies, three years. That is quite the trek. All right, folks, so this is how I'm going to try and make this work. Uh, first of all, let me test the audio. Is everything coming in fine for you? I definitely don't want the game to be drowned out by my voice, but I want to make sure you guys can hear me well enough. little loud. All right. I can fix that. In fact, you know what? I may just want to go ahead and jump into the options here. Make sure the music volume is a bit lower than I expect it. Let's go for that. Maybe even 55. Fight music. Dip that down a bit too. All right, let's go for that, see how that turns out. And then I'll turn the master volume over <laughs> down a little bit because I know I'm, I'm, of all the members of TFS, I'm probably one of the quieter ones, unless I get mad. Okay, so uh, I'll test out the sound on that for a little bit. Maybe we'll go in and fiddle with it a bit more. Uh, so how this is going to work, uh, I am going to, as best I can, let you guys decide not only what our character is, but what our character does. In fights, I may try to move things along by just using my own knowledge, but my overall goal is to kind of make this a Twitch Plays Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. So, uh, let's go ahead... Oh, and you know what? For the people who are probably going to see the YouTube archive of this, because I will make sure it actually goes up on YouTube and the Stream 4 Star channel... Uh, you may ask, why is not one of the more famous people from TFS at the Table playing this? Uh, Nick, as some of you may know from watching TFS Gaming, is busy getting his Krillin plays uh, recorded and set up for the month of October. Zito is also busy, and uh, I think that's probably the people you want to play this more than me. So, on that note, let's go ahead and start a new game. I think that we'll immediately start with the cutscene some people have already seen on YouTube with us in captivity. I will try not to completely overwrite with my commentary, uh, but if you get annoyed by my voice, I uh, just go watch the cinematic on YouTube. Ah, 
the Illithid Empire in its once great glory. Oh, he stands when he opens the door, but now he's floaty boy. Gith Yankee, nice to see you here. Why have buttons when you can just do stuff with your mind? She knows what's going on. First person perspective. Gonna regret having that in a couple of minutes. Hi there. No, no, no need no need to put that by there. Nope. I don't I'm not a fan. Nope. Nope. And body horror. Who are you? Oh, okay. Now now getting asked all the important questions about who we are. So Big question for chat, who are we? This first uh, channel, oh boy, this first page is where we will be picking our background and our name. Uh, my gosh, gonna take a while for those textures to pop in, but this is the first part where chat, you get to choose what we be. There are a lot of backgrounds to choose from. Uh, so what I would like for you guys to do is just in chat, uh, type out what names you think would be good for a character. Oh, you know what? First poll! Obviously the biggest, most important thing we need to pick. What gender are we? All right, so there's your first poll of the night, depending, uh, picking our gender. Gonna let that only run for a minute as I don't think there's much to mull over there. Oh wait, that Twitch extension was already made? I thought that wasn't coming until the final game. Oh boy, well that makes this a bit more convenient. All right, uh, 64 to 36%, we are going with a female. All right. Now, uh, this is actually gonna be a moment where I just pick my personal preference, but uh, everyone in chat, just go out, uh, go ahead and spit out some names you think will be good for our fantasy uh, female character. Quinette, I like the pandering, but it's just not hidden home for me. Nakrit is also good. Quinthia, Quinelle. Oh, I do love the I do love the pandering, folks. 
Uh, Catherine 13, thank you for the uh, uh, 1,050 bits. Thanks for the support. Clara. Bob. Lorelai. Quintia. Pan the Panderer. I bet you're coming close. Goethe. Grantieth. Oh, hold on. That's... Oh, hold on. It just came by. North Countryman? I like that. Legalia. Nice simplistic. I... I think I'm actually... I'm also going to pick out a surname for her from chat. Oh, oh, you know what, Ronan? Fine. Legalia Galvia. Galvia is my personal D&D game's uh, homebrew setting, and Ronan decided to remind me of it, and you know what? I'll pick it. That's honestly the most personal pandering, and I, it touches me, touches me deep. All right, so now we have our name, we have our gender, we get to pick our background. In D&D, &D, your background uh, mainly governs just a few background proficiency, proficiencies you're good with and kind of gives you a scope of where you came from. It doesn't have that much effect on character generation, both I think in this game and in the general tabletop game. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do, let's see, how many are in here? Entertainer, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ooh boy, 13. They put all the backgrounds in the, uh, version. So, hmm, uh, I only have the option to make polls up to five options, and I feel like breaking this down would probably take up too much time. So what I'm going to do is close my eyes for an unspecified amount of time and you guys just start typing backgrounds and the first background I see when I open my eyes will be the one I pick starting now my eyes are closed and still closed and they're open sailor the first thing I see is sailor so Legalvia Galvia is a sailor all right, next up, race. All right, so uh, nice background of races here for early access. We have your elves, the nice high and mighty folk who enjoy looking down on people. We have your tieflings, which are the nice and exotic brand of uh, devil worshippers here. Devil worshipping is actually not even giving them enough credit. They have uh, fiendish ties, whether that be through blood, through a pact, all kinds of fun stuff. Bound to Nessus, the deepest layer of the Hells. These tieflings inherit the ability to wield fire and darkness from the Archville Authority's Eternal Light. So this is a sub-race of tiefling. Now you have the Drow, which are Dark Elves. You have your standard laissez-faire human. You have the Githyanki, which honestly I like the most uh, because they have a whole nice beef with the Illithid going back to their ancient history as slaves for the Illithid. And they get to ride dragons because their leader made a deal with the evil god of dragons. You have your dwarves, Tolkien Fair, although, man, this one was just randomized, but I really like her. Half-elves, your lovely half-breeds who get the benefit of being half of, of certain kind of elves, and your half-flings, uh, which are incredibly lucky, and a favorite of our lovely, uh, our lovely thumbnail artist, Bracky. So, what I'm going to do, uh, because there are nine here, harder to fit in the options of the whole is break them down by standard fare and exotic and then after we pick that then you will actually be able to pick the specific race so you'll just give me a quick second i know there's brief moments of silence while i get the poll ready
Oh, lovely. The pole broke. <laughs> Gotta love when the main function of what you're trying to do breaks on you, chat. Gotta love that. Uh, unfortunately, it's still stuck on the gender, and I can't get rid of it. Lovely. <laughs> Could not end pole. Well, you can go down on the horse you came in on. Oh, boy. So, chat, sorry, I'm gonna have to play this by eye. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of interest in the exotic races, which I think will include Dragonborn when the actual game comes out, but uh, unfortunately at the moment only include Tiefling and Githyanki. And it seems to be an even split between Tiefling and Githyanki. Why not both? Oh, I wish. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go with Gith Yankee. You know what? That's fair. People keep saying flip a coin. I'll flip a coin. Heads, heads, uh, Gith Yankee. Tails, uh, Tiefling. Guys, I flipped a coin and forgot what I said which one was. What was Tails? I feel like Tails was Tiefling. Oh, hey, a new poll popped up. Finally. Okay, now, so forget what I said. Actually vote. <laughs> Go to the poll and vote Gith or Tiefling. And now it's a dead heat. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my gosh, this is neck and neck, guys. Oh, by the slimmest margin, we have Tiefling take the crown. Now we have a sub-race. Uh, we have three sub-races here. This is essentially depending which fiend you can kind of trace your uh, devilish heritage to. We have Asmodeus, which I already read out, found to Nessus. We have Mistopheles, which instead of being a cat man, is descended from the archdevil Mistopheles. These tieflings are gifted with particular affinity for arcane magic. Uh, it looks like they even get a mage hand cantrip for free. And then we have the Zariel tieflings, which of tiefling as Zariel's bloodline are empowered with martial strength and can channel searing flame to punish their enemies. So it looks like uh, pretty much all of the tieflings are good with charisma, but Asmodeus and Mistopheles have intelligence, while Zariel has strength. So whenever you're picking your sub-race, which is a poll I'm hopefully about to make, uh, keep that in mind, that if you pick Asmodeus or Mistopheles, you're probably going to skew us more towards, uh, say, a wizard or someone who probably benefits from intelligence as well as their charisma. Or if you pick Zariel, you're probably going to push us towards a martial class. And I still can't end the poll on my side, so if one of the mods would be kind enough to make a poll that pretty much says Asmodeus, Mistopheles, or Zariel, I would appreciate it. Uh, for Mistopheles, there you go. Uh, you are so the thing is there are only a limited number of classes available in early access I think there's about six bard is not one of them a uh, Fenrir Garos, thank you for the tier one sub I don't think monk is available either I think we're limited to four Fighter, Rogue, Wizard, Warlock, and uh, one I can't immediately recall. 
Yeah, sadly, we're a bit hamstrung here when it comes to uh, what we have. All right, the poll is up. You can choose between uh, Zariel, Asmodeus, or Mistopheles Tiefling. Don't worry about skin color. Uh, d regardless of what Tiefling we pick, I can make it so we have access to all the skin colors. Yes, you're right. Cleric is the last class currently available in the build. Uh, the next poll will be class. All right, uh, just a hair above Mistopheles, we have uh, our Zariel Tiefling. Uh, yes, Ronan, I think you're right. We should probably break that up. All right, so here are the classes we have available. Uh, we have our Spellcasters, which I'll classify as Cleric, Warlock, and Wizard. And we have our martial classes, which I will classify as fighter, ranger, and rogue. Uh, cleric. Clerics are representatives of the gods they worship, willing potent divine magic for good or for ill. These people can kind of handle their own in melee if you stat them right, but are primarily ranged spellcasters. And also the people responsible for healing your party. Warlocks uh, are kind of your build-your-own spellcasters. Uh, while they are limited in the amount of spells they have, you get these extra things called Eldritch Invocations that let you kind of specialize in what sort of abilities you want to focus on and what sort of extra little uh, gadgets you want to have in your arsenal. Wizards, your standard fantasy wizard, they have access to a spell book and a whole lot of spells, and uh, pretty much the customization comes in what spells you prepare for the day. Fighter, pretty standard. Get up to something, hit it hard. Or, if you want to do range, you can stand at range and shoot away. Ranger. Uh, a bit more interesting ranged fighter. Honestly, haven't played them much because in D&D 5e they got horrifically gimped until some later subclasses came along in an expansion. Uh, they have a few specializations uh, like their favorite enemy... Uh, their favored enemy gets them some special abilities and makes them uh, hit harder certain enemies. They also have Natural Explorer, uh, which gives them some bonuses depending on the terrain they're in. Uh, and then finally you have Rogue, pretty standard. Sneak up behind something, stab it a lot, it probably will die horribly. Also, the uh, most kind of uh, the class that's best at having a whole lot of skills. All right. The poll has ended, and it looks like you guys definitely want me to go for a spellcaster. Uh, so from there, your choices are cleric, warlock, or wizard. And I already gave you the class right now. I see a lot of people pushing for Warlock, and you are right. With the Tiefling's natural plus two charisma, we are on the right track. And there is a, a subclass that you pick when the Warlock turns level three that lets it get a special melee weapon. However, we will not get a, be able to pick that right off the uh, right off the bat. Uh, so the poll is open. I know a lot of people were favoring Warlock, but I just want to make sure everyone gets their choice in uh, between Cleric, Warlock, or Wizard. All right, it looks like Warlock has a pretty sizable majority. So now we have one final thing to pick. Just gonna make sure the vote got it. 
Varlos, thank you for the 300 bits. I hope you have a good night. Uh, thanks, thanks for joining us for Civilization. All right, yep, Warlock is our winner. So finally, we have one choice here in our subclass of Warlock. Uh, in base D&D, there are three, uh, but currently, yes, there are only two in Baldur's Gate 3. You have the Fiend. Uh, they are in service to fiends, work towards corrupting destructive ends intentionally or otherwise, and receive hellish, hellish blessings in turn, or the Great Old One, this is kind of your Cthulhu cultist. Warlocks bound to eldritch beings in the far realms work towards inscrutable goals, gaining strange powers over entropy and the mind. Uh, so does our Azrael tiefling serve a devilish patron befitting her heritage? Or does she maybe serve an ancient creature from beyond the stars? Do not mean to sound off my preference when I say that. Uh, yes, I know some of you more familiar with the D&D are bringing up the Hexblade. It would be really nice to have a Hexblade in Baldur's Gate. I don't know if that's even Larian's intentions when they fully release the game, but I hope at least we can get the Archfey, because that's my personal favorite patron. The spell bonuses you get aren't that fun, but I just kind of like being buddy-buddy with the Capricious Fey. All right, and the poll is up. So your choices are between the Fiend and Great Old One. The Fiend specializing in kind of fiery, come here and I'll fuck ya tactics, while the Great Old One is spooky, mysterious, dealing with things from beyond the stars. All right, and the poll seems to be heavily favoring a great old one warlock, which honestly I find kind of funny because when I was testing the game, uh, it was a male, but this is pretty much the exact same kind of character I made. <laughs> so glad to see I'm very much in touch with what the fans want. All right, so uh, on that note, uh, let's see, we can customize our abilities here. Eldritch Blast is pretty much the warlock go-to. Uh, you, I'm not, I'm not gonna really even have this up for debate. If we're a warlock, we need to have Eldritch Blast if we're gonna have any sort of, uh, damage potential early on. Now, Blade Ward, uh, is a bit of a useful cantrip. It, it gets, it gives you resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks from weapons, which, you know, means whatever damage you take is halved, and it lasts for two turns after you cast it, which is useful, but we also have friends which means non-hostile creatures uh, you can you know, are easier for you to kind of persuade, and if we're if our Azrael Tiefling is a bit of a talker, that'd be a good thing to have. Mage Hand is essentially telekinesis from Divinity 2. You can reach things from far away and manipulate them. Minor Illusion. Now, I've tried to use this in the game and didn't have that much success with it. I was trying to use it as a way to distract enemies, but it seems like if you already have their attention, this cantrip doesn't work. Poison Spray is a great way to deal with uh, guys that have already come up close, though honestly I'm more in favor of just blasting them. Uh, the damage potential is greater, uh, but with Eldritch Blast you can actually modify that with the invocations we'll be getting as we level up, and I think that's a big bonus. Then we have True Scry, which honestly, in the base D&D game, sucks, because you get advantage on your next attack. But if you just attacked twice in your two rounds you're getting, same effect. They slightly buffed it here in that you get advantage for two turns, but you have to maintain concentration on the cantrip, which is hard if you're constantly getting a hit in battle. So, of all the cantrips, I'm just gonna, not going to let you suggest at all, True Strike is off the table. I think anyone who plays D&D will agree with me. True Strike is useless. I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of opinions here. Magic hands is always good. Friends is good. Uh, friends does depend on finding people to talk to first, uh, which honestly I haven't played enough of the game to verify one way or the other. Oh, don't worry, we're keeping Eldritch Blast. I'm not I'm not transferring that to anything. We might get rid of Blade Ward. 
Oh, you know what? You're right. Chill Touch is good. Uh, Chill Touch is a great way to attack uh, creatures you think might heal back the damage or undead. Uh, I can't say one way or the other if we'll be up against undead, so I can't say if this is especially useful. There is Mage Hand. Mage Hand's right here. I'm seeing a lot of favor for Mage Hand. So you know what? Uh, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna bog us down with a poll here because there'll be a lot of options to go through. Uh, Bash Hammer, you have not dealt with True Strike in Five E. Five Five E True Strike is not a good cantrip. Uh, however, I'm seeing a lot of love for Mage Hand. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Uh, now for our spells, the Great Old One gets. Uh, these are special ones we get from the Great Old One patron. Dissonant Whispers, I think, is pretty good, because not only does it do good damage for a first-level spell, but if it works and the creature isn't dead, it runs away from you. Meanwhile, Tasha City's Laughter is a good way to incapacitate an enemy. But we also have Hex, which makes anything we're hitting more susceptible to damage from us. Bash Hammer, yes. Baldur Gate 3 is, uh, is based on 5e. Uh, I'm seeing Dissonant Whispers and Hex. I think that's a good combo. Tasha's is a good way to incapacitate people, but Dissonant Whispers does get you a, uh, an attack of opportunity if you can make the enemy run away from you while they're still alive. I'm seeing a lot of love for Hex. I think I'm going to drop Hideous Laughter and pick up Hex. I think that's a great way to lock down a single target. All right, so that's our initial ability. That's our class built, guys. Now for appearance. Obviously, running appearance uh, through a pole is going to be very hard. So what I'm going to do is kind of focus on building a, just a good-looking character, and then we'll see what kind of adjustments we want to make. Uh, so first off, let's hear these voices. Hells, something a tidy slot, but no room. The stones. Man, that is really quiet. Hold on. Recently uncovered. Hells, something just woke up down here. All right, so that's kind of a a tidy. Sp the stones less worn here. Recently uncovered. Hells, something just woke up down here. Okay, so it seems like we have a choice between a tidy slot, but okay. no room. Yeah, the two. Less worn here. Two feminine voices, two masculine voices. We have two. We have the even number of voices, which are definitely feminine, and then the odd number of voices, which are definitely masculine. And you know, credit to Lyrian where Lyrian is due, <laughs> where credit is due. Uh, you can put a masculine voice on this on this person. Is voice one Matt Mercer? Hold on. A tidy slot, but no room. Uh, the accent is throwing me. It may be Matt Mercer. It may not be. I think that accent's just a bit too thick. All right, so uh, this is one we can actually make a poll for. So we have voice, we have voice one and three if someone wants to try and put a masculine voice on this kind of character. Or we have two, uh, which sounds like this. The stones are less worn here. Recently uncovered. A tidy slot, but no room. And that was voice four, which I think kind of just sounds slightly more like younger, maybe a less experienced voice. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying there. Uh, but then we have voice three, which is masculine. The stones less worn here. Recently uncovered. And then the other masculine voice. A tidy slot, but no room. All right, so the poll is up. What what sort of voice do you want to put on this character? Man, honestly, with just the random generation, I kind of like how she looks right now. If you want to give her a dude voice, go in the poll and vote for uh, one of the odd-numbered ones. 
It looks like Voice 2 is winning by a very large margin, but uh, still about another 30 seconds to go. Oh, we already had a poll for the body gender. That, that was one of the first ones we did. Female won pretty by a large margin. All right, it looks like voice two is our winner. The stones are less warm here. Recently uncovered. Can I give her a beard? Oh my gosh, I can give her a beard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that that's delicious. <laughs> Uh, so you know what? Uh, let's make one overall poll here. The random generator has given us this character. Uh, I kind of want a poll that's just yay or nay. Do we want to stick with what we got here? Because this is what we got. And honestly, I quite like how she looks. Did R and Jesus get it right? Uh, all right. So if you want to keep the, what we already got through RNG, uh, give us into the game quicker. Uh, go ahead and vote in the poll. Or if you want me to start to dabble with this stuff, maybe even give her a beard, go ahead and vote nay. There are no sliders. It is all presets and color selections. Fantastic failures, thank you for the two month resub. I know some of you really want her to have a beard, but I'm seeing a lot of people voting yes to just keep it as RN Jesus gave us uh, in chat. All right, the poll, the poll is telling us that RNGs Jesus did it right, but I'm having someone beg for green skin. I'll, I'll at least see what it, she looks like with that skin color. Currently, she's sulfur tone four. All right, all skin colors, please. Ooh, here's Olive. Wow, there's almost... I can't see a difference between that sulfur and olive look. Yeah, so interesting thing here is that you can have it be just the skin colors you expect of an Ar uh, Azari oh my gosh, Azrael Tiefling, or you can click this and get all of them. Uh, sage. What does sage look... Oh, you know what? I kind of like that. Kind of like that light sage color right there. Yes, Zariel is a fallen angel, so she's only a devil by happenstance. I'm seeing some Molly Mark love in uh, chat. Oh man, and you gotta bring up my love of Critical Role, guys. Ugh. You know, all right, all right. Let's take a let's take a look at some of the like purple tones. Let's see if we can't get a Jester or Molly Mark. Whoa, that is that is deep. Okay, you know what? A lighter. A lighter violet is pretty good. Azure, I can almost tell the difference. Ooh, boy, that's dark. Let's all. You know what? Let's go with this kind of. I like. I like this purple. And you know what? If we're going to have that purple, we're going to have to change her hair color. 
That's way too bright. Ooh, okay. Alright. I like where this is going. Aqua? Nah. Yeah, no, that's way too bright. It has to be five. That's the only one dark enough. You really think you like the you like the lighter color? Oh, no. Where's that? There we go. Is that too much of a contrast? Ooh, that's that's like kissed by fire red. Dark blue? Okay, okay, I like that. Okay. Unfortunately, the chat delay is making that a bit difficult. So let's go. I'm going to stop here. Yes, I can change the horns. Alright, you know what? Unless someone says vehemently, I hate this, I don't like it. Two up and one to the right. So one, two, and that one. I, I Personally, I like this one more. I... The very, the bright hair is throwing me off, but I like this one. Okay, alright. I'm seeing a lot of yeses for this one, so let's keep it. Alright, hairstyle. Let's look through what we got here. I wish I could, yeah, let's do that. Ooh, if it wasn't for the horns kind of breaking that design, I like that. Short and fun. Long and fun. Messy. This one's simple, but I like her whip her hair back and forth. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, I don't like how the horns mess with some of these hairs. Yeah, that's short and not... Bald, there's always that. This one's kind of nice. Simplistic, but got a nice, got a nice bob in the back. Long hair is best hair. Alright, well, here's what we had her at. And we had her at this. So, so... Okay, I saw some love for the ponytail. Do we want to do the ponytail like this, or do we want to have it where all the hair is in the ponytail? So you have two where it's loose, but there's still a ponytail, or you have eight where it's all in the ponytail. Oh, you know what? There was... Okay, there was some people talking about this. This is kind of cool. Although, there, yeah, there's uh, the clipping in the back is kind of a problem. But, I mean, if you want something that isn't just Widowmaker hair, this is something that's different. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of people want eight, but then I'm seeing some two. There's also six. Okay, eight or six. Eight or narrow dreads. I like six. Two or six. Six, two, anything but eight. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna. We have our. We have Sam Leonhart, one of our mods. He's been with us for a long time, longer than I was a mod. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and defer. Uh, to anything but the Widowmaker hairstyle. Uh, I, th I think I let's let's go for six. That's definitely unique. You know what? That's right. You know, this is this is where this is where polls decide. Ronin or whoever whoever's been taking charge of the polls for me. If you could make one that is hair for hairstyles, and the choices will be two, which is loose ponytail, a lot of it flowing down. Six, which is pretty much dreads down the middle, or eight, all in a ponytail in the back. And I'll let you guys decide. So two, six, or eight. Go to the polls. Exercise your democratic right. I'm going to quickly close the blinds so people can't look in my room while I'm doing this.
All right, looks like two is winning by a wide margin. Unfortunately, eight, the, 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 the collected ponytail on the back is actually the last place, so it doesn't look like it's gonna win. With about, I'd say 15 seconds to go. Six is getting up there. Six needs just eight more, eight more votes to come into the lead. Oh no. <laughs> number six spoiled the vote for number eight spoiled the vote for six. We have a winner and it is hairstyle two. Democracy works. Oh, whoops, too close. All right, let's do the horns next. I think there's a pretty wide selection of horns. All right, so we have horns two, pretty much the straight up and back. Just kind of tilt her head up. Oh, horns one. That's all over the place. We have the curlies, kind of the narwhal horns. Oh, these. Ooh, these are gilded. Nice little gold effect there. Looks like this the horns five is same, pretty much the same as horns four, but without the effect. Horn six, more tapered off to the sides than over the back. Seven. Oh, these I, these are Maleficent horns. Yeah, this is Maleficent. Horns eight are nice and tiny. Boop. Nine. I don't, I, I kind of, these look withered. I don't think that works for our kind of young face we got going here. Oh, ten. These are... Now, these are jester horns for your Critical Role fans out there. Eleven. Oh, a bit higher up. That might be... These are ram's horns. It might actually be closer to jester than this. Or maybe these are molly horns. Molly's definitely pointed more out than... Well, forward than out. Okay, these are nice and curly. Thirteen. Now, I'd say these are Maleficent horns, so I didn't see the last one. But I don't like all that stuff up front. That looks choppy. Eh, I don't... Some of these just don't have a lot of character to them. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh, that... There's a lot of... There's a lot of background there, but I kind of like how the hairline's clipping into it. Okay, seeing a lot of four for the gilded horns. One or four, 12. What was 10? I don't know what 10 looked like. Oh yeah, no, these are, these are like, oh, you know what? These, these are pretty much exactly like the, um, uh, wizard from the Holy, uh, oh my gosh, Monty Python's the Holy Grail. Like, just color them black, and they're exactly like that. Tim, Tim the Enchanter, yes. Okay, it looks like the finalists here are 10 and 4. So, uh, I want to add, just from my personal preference, I want to add one more to that list. Where were they? Okay, yeah, it was seven. So, your final choices for the poll will be four, ten, seven, and why not eleven? Even though kind of 10 or 11, your difference is kind of the placement of the curve, but I'll put it on the list. Okay, if if 10 wins, I'll make a sub poll between 10 and 11. So if you want 11, vote for 10. I'm keeping it on seven because that's my personal preference. Sorry, Sam. That's on me. Like I said, if you think if you like eleven more than ten, vote for ten, and I'll give you another poll. Oh my gosh, it is pretty much a dead heat. Horn, ten, ten's taking the lead. Oh, seven took the lead. You got just about ten more seconds. 
Horn7 is in the lead by two votes. Okay. Three vote, three vote majority has decided Horn7 will be our pick. All right. Let's focus in on those eyes. Let's just, I'm going to cycle through through these. What's the difference between demonic? I'm, not, I'm like, the shade is definitely changing, but I'm not seeing much of a difference between what is demonic black too and demonic yellow. Where's the black? Is it just because they're more faded? Oh, wow. Wow. Ugh, I did not expect that. And honestly, I don't like it. Uh, so, I guess, I guess if we have two choices here, okay, here, here's your, we're gonna have probably a couple of cult, a couple of polls for eyes, guys. First one is going to be, do we want her to have white, uh, kind of white eyes or black eyes? Essentially, do we want the body of her eye to be white or black? And then after that, we'll focus on the color. Sclera, is that what it's called? Ugh. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna give you the, it's freedom of choice. I don't like I don't like my tieflings having these kinds of eyes. It looks weird. I did not expect that to happen. Okay, yeah, it looks like the overwhelming majority is in favor of black of the black eyes. Okay. All right. Anyone who was afraid we were going to have white Sclara, don't worry. I don't even have to wait for the next 30 seconds for the poll to end. It looks like we're getting demonic black. So where does that come in? <laughs> okay, so starting here, we have demonic red, red, yellow, yellow, green, green again. It looks like everyone is just like one color and then a brighter version of that color blue, which honestly I think this comes really close to her skin color. Ooh, I kind of like that yellow twinge there. That's nice. Frosty. Okay, this one matches her hair. Okay, you know what? I like this. So this is Demonic Purple 2. How are we feeling about this? Okay, I'm seeing before I got to purple two, I was seeing people talking about demonic blue two. Uh, Sam, if you're making a list, go ahead and put demonic blue two with demonic purple two, and then we'll keep going. So this is white. That's not bad. White again. Ooh, this one's kind of crisp. Put demonic white three on the list as well. Ooh. Ooh, I so hold on. For demonic I honestly, I prefer demonic white 4 over white 3. How do you guys feel about white 3 compared to white 4? 3 4. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing a whole lot of 4s come in. So put white 4 on the list over white 3. Like take white 3 off. I don't want to see white ever again. Oh, okay. It's black in the sense that almost there's no color definition. It kind of just fades out into the black. It looks like black 4 and black actually... I... Okay. There's might be a shade of difference between black 3 and black 4. I cannot tell. Okay, so I think for our poll, we're going to have Demonic Blue 2, Demonic Purple 2, Demonic White 4, and then Demonic Black 4. And then that will be our poll, and among that, you guys can pick. While you guys are voting, I'll keep cycling through the colors. I'll probably sound like an uh, optometrist here. Blue 2, Purple 2. White four, black four. And I like how her head nods each time, it's cute. 
Blue two. Purple two. White four. Black four. I said it sounded like an, yeah, you were at the Automatrist. I gave you fair warning. <laughs> All right, it looks like black four and white four are in the lead. So here's white four. Here's black four. And then for your number twos, here's blue two, purple two. Black four is taking a heavy lead over white four. That's why you need to save up those channel points. You'll never know when there's an important poll. <laughs> North Country Man, this is the longest time I've looked into an attractive woman's eyes. <laughs> All right, it looks like uh, 20, uh, compared to, 29 compared to the next leader, 17. It is Demonic uh, Black 4 as our winner. So we now have our horns, our hair. Ooh, we need, let's, let's see if we can put a good tattoo on her. This might be Gilding the Lily. This is nice. Let's see, tattoo one, you have some birds. Oh boy, doesn't that look fitting for a great old one, Warlock, but maybe too much. Uh, I, where even is this? Oh, okay. There it is. I don't like that at all. She's not a Sith. This is... I don't hate it. Definitely not. Ooh! Okay, you know what? Not only, not only do I kind of like the minimalism here, this looks like something you expect on a great old one warlock. Uh, this one's... I don't, I don't hate it, but this one also looks like it's too much. Okay, now this is a bit closer to maybe what Tattoo, Tattoo 2 was going for. A bit simpler. Uh, it looks like... Is that just... Okay, it's a sword on her neck. Let's not. Eh. Okay, honey, I need you to stop looking around so I can actually see where these tattoos are going. I... I don't, I don't even see what's going on here. Is this hidden by the horns? I think it is. Oh, okay, it's on her neck. And it's her flowers. All right. I, okay, if it's that branding anywhere, I don't like it. No. No tattoo. Okay, so, uh, for the poll, I would put no tattoo... Tattoo 7, Tattoo 9, actually I think those are the only three. I'm seeing a lot of 7 or 9, so I think our, we're going to put three options here. No Tattoo, Tattoo 7, or Tattoo 9. And then once we have that picked, we'll go into the colors. Tatooine? Well, that's a completely different game. Alright, it looks like Tattoo 7 is winning by a large margin. Yeah, sorry guys, I misspoke. When I can, when I make the poll on Stream Four Stars end, I can turn on like adding bits or channel points to up your vote. But when the mods do it, which unfortunately is what we're stuck with, because my poll feature is broken, uh, it's just single vote, one vote, one person. All right, looks like Tattoo Seven is our winner. Uh, so let's take a look at the colors. We have blue, which is our basic. Uh, gray green that that pretty much disappears so I'm gonna immediately nix that 
Black is definitely visible. It kind of blends into her eyes. Gray disappears. Sand definitely adds a bit more color, but it kind of contrasts from everything else. Well, that certainly sands out, doesn't it? Red also stands out. Jungle green, kind of the same thing with the other colors. And dark purple blends in with her hair. Purple and gold complement each other. Uh, so this is sand, which I think is what you were referring to when you said gold. I, I don't hate it. So we have a lot of people saying black, a couple people saying white, gold. Gold is on my list. I kind of like it. All right, so, okay, it looks like we have our finalists for the poll. Uh, for the poll, let's put sand, which is col which is gold, this, this color right here. Uh, then we have black. Then we have white. And uh, let's say red. I think I, I agree with some of you guys. I think red stands out, too. So, our final colors, sand, gold, white, black, red. Alright, the poll is up, guys. Oh man, I'm immediately feeling bad. Honestly, I liked sand gold the most, but it immediately fell to fourth place. It looks like a dead heat between black and white. Oh, I'm sorry, black and red. Can't read. So here's red, here's black, red, black, red, black. Uh, red's taking a slight lead. You know, there's still there's still plenty of time to vote for sand, guys. Oh, uh, it just fell further behind. <laughs> All right, it looks like red is our winner. We have our tattoo. Now we have to do makeup because we're a lady. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot... Okay, well, the tattoo covers that up, so that's out. Nope. 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 Okay, uh, so it looks like in choosing our tattoo, we may have already chosen our makeup, because we chose the makeup that went best, best with that eye, that current eye contouring. <laughs> think, I think I'm think i going to make an executive decision and say, unless there's... No. Yeah, when we chose the tattoo, I think we pretty much selected this makeup for her. Except, nah, the no makeup is a bit too much. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at seven. I we we chose this because it it looked best as it was, but uh I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. Alright! Oh wow. So we finally have our character. Legalvia Galvia, a Zariel Tiefling warlock of the Great Old One who looks like this. Now let's go into skills. Alright, so, skills with proficiency. Uh, these come from our background and our class, and essentially skills we have chosen to kind of dip our heads into. Oh yeah, who's also a sailor, can't forget that. I'm right, which means she's pretty good at some of the strength stuff. Uh, so... This is kind of a good way to help shape the character a bit more. Like, what is she good at? Like, currently we have her for Arcana and Intimidation, which means when she's studying magical stuff... No, Arcana is the knowledge of magic and its applications. Use for understanding enchanted items or powerful spells. Or Intimidation. Intimidation is the use of threats and speech, forcing others to break under your will. So, do we think that's a good fit for our Legalia? Or do we want to maybe have her go into Deception or History? Investigate. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just select that. So, yes, as someone pointed out, uh, we have a plus two to charisma, which is currently at 17, almost a plus four. So uh, this is this is what she's really good at. Uh, if we want to put proficiency in charisma skills, we put it in deception and intimidation. Uh, but if we want to start flexing maybe her intelligence, that would be arcana or history, uh, nature as well, religion...
Uh, so, here is the poll I'm going to suggest our mods put up. Uh, lean into our charisma or lean into our intelligence? That's going to be the first choice. Because if we lean into our charisma, it's essentially going to be look like that. We'll be great at talking. Actually, that's pretty that's pretty restrictive to say that. Uh, still do the poll, and I'll only have that apply to our first skill. So this is where we'll put our first proficiency, and we have two to deal with. So if you want us to dabble in maybe Arcana, but then use one of our Charisma skills, feel free to vote one way or the other. So if, you, if you're currently voting for Intelligence, you're at least voting for our first proficiency to go into Arcana, History, Investigation, Nature, or Religion. Warlock casting stat is Charisma. Alright, it looks like the first thing you want us to do is go into Intelligence. So, for Intelligence, where would you like the first proficiency to, to go? Arcana, History, Investigation, uh, Nature, or Religion. And if there are only four options, take Nature out. Alright, seeing a lot of Arcana, and I think that's fair. Uh, in case anyone's curious, you can see our current proficiencies over here, which are Athletics and Perception. We got that from our Sailor background. Alright, immediately Arcana jumps ahead in the poll. Uh, mods, just so you know, the next, uh, the next poll will go back to Intelligence or Charisma, and then we'll just go down this decision tree again to end up at our second proficiency. It looks like Arcana is uh, pretty much going to win by a landslide. Uh, can you multi-class in this build? As far as I can tell, you cannot. Uh, as I, I was only able to get to that first level up, but it pretty much moved me right into the next level of that same class. All right, yep, it looks like Arcana is our first proficiency. So our next, we're going to go through this decision tree one more time. Uh, if you want her to put that second proficiency in either an intelligence skill or a charisma skill. Alright, it looks like uh, charisma is taking a very early lead. Looks like Charisma is going to take it, so your choices are going to be between putting that second proficiency in Deception or Intimidation. 
Is our uh, warlock sailor someone who intimidates or someone who deceives? Intimidation is still based on charisma. Though you would think, yeah, Zariel Tiefling would use their strength more. All right, looks like Deception took an early lead in the poll. All right, yeah, it looks like unless... 30 votes come in for intimidation out of nowhere. It looks like deception is going to be our winner. All right, that's it for the skills. All right, so uh, the, the key thing here is charisma. When we're a warlock, a whole lot of our stuff is going to be focused through charisma. This needs to be as high as we can get it. In fact, you know what? Can I get that to 18? Yeah, I can. All right, so we do get a plus one from our racial heritage, which is why this is at nine. Uh, but currently, it's pretty poor. Uh, so... I'm tempted to use Recommended. I, we can't boost Charisma any more than it currently is. Uh, let's roll those stats. There's no way to roll them, unfortunately. It's all point by. Personally, I'd like rolling, I, but I'd probably just sit here clicking until that turned to an 18. Uh, I think we can finally... You know, there's some... So the thing is, we don't get a plus four until this is 18. Having it at 17 only really helps if we can count on getting a plus one. If this goes by normal D&D &D rules, when we hit something that lets us raise our ability scores, we can raise one skill by plus two. So it may be worth taking it from this and putting it in strength just so we do not have a negative strength value. Oh, okay, and if I click them, it lets you know what skills this helps. That, I didn't actually know that. <laughs> there we go. Why is this... Okay, constitution doesn't affect any skills. What am I thinking? Reduce int and put it into charisma? That may work. You know what? I think that's fair. We, we definitely want charisma as high as we can get it, even if it isn't going to be a plus four yet. So we'll take, essentially take that point from intelligence, put it in charisma. All right. Uh, that is that. Now we are almost ready to venture forth. Tell me, who do you dream of at night? So, uh, obviously making a whole nother character would probably take up a whole nother hour. So I think the one question I want to ask you guys is, is our female tiefling warlock into ladies or into men? Sadly, I can only pick one or the other. <laughs> Pansexuals should be an option, but alas. Oh, hello. That's quite an interesting result. All right, the poll is up. Is she into guys or is she into girls? Man, I, wow. I don't know if you guys are okay with the Mistopheles tiefling being into a Zariel tiefling, but I like how this turned out. Uh, 
I love the idea of a tiefling pirate that chases female dwarves. You know what? I can dig that too. All right, it looks like uh, girls are winning the bet by a large margin. Oh, hello. Okay. A tidy slot, but no room. I, I shut you guys down when it came to putting a beard on our character, so I'll let you have this. There we go. Now that's a dwarf. There we go. All right, th there's our lover. I'm not going to take up any more time with this stuff. So we have our we have our tiefling pirate who. Searching the seas grew to look at the stars and formed a bond with a beam that dwelled among them uh, and somehow found herself aboard an illithoid. I think it is just a. Yeah, it's a. It's just an illithoid ship. All right. So, let us finally, at long last, venture forth into the actual game. Oh, great. Remember the body horror we started like an hour ago? Well, we're back at it. All my friends are dead. <laughs> He's been staring at you for a whole hour. That's right. Just wanted to see if the tadpole took. So yes, uh, illithids uh, do like to harvest people because part of their reproduction process is putting that tadpole into people and essentially growing more illithid. And to those of you curious, this is not Baldur's Gate. I mean, the game is, the city here is not. You can tell because uh, the guards would be wearing the Flaming Fist, the mercenary company that essentially act, uh, acts as the city's security. I'm not sure what city this is. I'm not too familiar with the Forgotten Realms lore. Uh, but whatever it is, it's getting screwed pretty bad. As uh, the Illithoid is using... Yeah, talk about bad touch. Oh joy, the Githyanki are here, and they brought their evil red dragons. So, the one thing you can... So, the thing is, Githyanki aren't good people. Uh, they live in the astral plane and enslave people, pretty much like the Illithid. Uh, but... The only thing you can count on is because their ancient history with the Illithid was being their slaves, they don't like the Illithid. So here they are, quote unquote, saving the town by attacking the Illithid ship. But sadly, this thing can teleport, bitches. Bye. Now, the one thing I would like to know is how these Githyanki were able to track the uh, ship as it teleported. It may have something to do with that Githyanki that's on board, case in point, this bitch, uh, but I doubt it.
Oh, well, there go those tadpoles. Well, so far, the escape attempt is going great. And in what is probably the worst case of out of the frying pan into the fire, uh, the Nautiloid jumps away from that pursuit into the Nine Hells, where demons and devils are constantly fighting, and it decides to fly in front of three devilish citadels that immediately swarm them with imps. So, great intro, I think. And the first thing I'm going to do when the game starts is actually pull up a small title card so I can connect this to the Baldur Gate 3 Companion so uh, our conversation votes can be a bit more uh, fast coming. So don't be surprised if once you see my character T posing, I suddenly pull something up to block it. Okay. All right, so pull that up. Nope, come on. This is a great time to remind you guys that this Thursday, uh, we are coming back and playing Among Us. It's like, you know, pop that up. Come on, be a friend. There we go. Look at that, guys. Playing Among Us again. Isn't that a great time? This time we will actually be joined by Little Karibo. Now did that work? I hit sync and then nothing happened. All right, and we're back. Okay, it looks like the integration is working. We can now, if you mouse over the screen, you can now see our character pop out of the frame. All right, I'm going to do a bit of touch-up with this inventory. Move that there. Oh, hey, we have Thaumaturgy. That's neat. All right, there we go. Probably nothing nice and quick and dirty. All right, let's take a look around. Uh, we are currently in the bowels of the Mind Flayer ship. How's this going? Might still be stuck inside if we hadn't been attacked. Ain't that lucky. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> All right, looks like this room is pretty empty. Oh, hey, Mind Flayer corpse, though. Let's take a look over there. Oh, okay. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. All right, chat. Uh, if I clicked that thing right, you should actually be able to vote on how I respond to this.
Uh, you may have to actually uh, mouse over the... T typing it in chat I don't think is doing anything. Uh, however, I'm going to say in about, I would say 20 seconds, I'm going to close this. She's a little quiet. Okay, after we do this, I'll go into the, and I'll go back into the options and see if I can't boost that stuff a little bit. But it looks like we have a winner. Investigate the pool. All right. Got to roll a, we got to roll a nine or higher. We did it. All right, reach into that pool, Legalia. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Well, now that's tempting, isn't it? Do I even have to do a poll? You guys want me to reach toward the pool, don't you? You know what? The interface is cool. Let's do it again. Honestly, I'm surprised that that was at 20%. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reach to the pool. Casing crumbles beneath your hands, sloshing volatile brine as it collapses. Oh, okay. It broke. <laughs> well, that was fun. All right. Where did that dead... You come here. I'm searching your corpse. Potion of speed. Take all. Dead. Good. And a whole lot of this is going to be me sorting around inventories. Okay. All right. Let's head outside. How did this go? Better. All right. Looks like we got a small healing font we can tap. Sphincter door. Those are always lovely. Alright, we got some more stuff to search for here. Oh, that's right. I was going to go into the options and see if I can't boost our audio here. I think what we want here... Okay, she's all the way up. So what I'd want to do is turn this all the way up and then turn this stuff down. Maybe turn this stuff up. Right there. Let's go for that. And then you guys just keep letting me know if this is too quiet. I'm, I know balancing all this is going to be so much fun. Alright, let's search these imps. Alright, more potions of healing. Those are always good. Oh, scroll of firebolt. That'll be useful. Curious. Uh, a whole bunch of shells. Caustic bulbs. Those seem to be useful. Okay, what happens if I throw it? Oh, yeah. Let's throw it at this cerebral aquarium. Let's see what happens. Okay. Throw another one. Oh, it's too far? Ugh. They even put, like, coral in there. What? What was the point, man? Release us. Oh, I know this. I've seen this developer diary. Okay, if you okay, first off before I even we click on this, here. if you are squeamish about yeah. like serious body horror, like if you kind of tensed up when that tadpole went in our eye, don't look. Not at all. This ain't pretty. All right, you have been warned. We are trapped. Uh, you seem to be missing something, buddy. Yes, you've 
come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. All right, guys, time for your pretty much full on conversation where you guys have complete control. Hands are off the steering wheel. I'll give each of these about 30 seconds before I click on the response that wins. Uh, do not type what you want in chat. You actually have to mouse over and open the Twitch extension. It will let you pick. All right, 15 seconds. I, that's probably shorter than 30 seconds, but I doubt you want me to count out loud. It looks like a pretty dead heat between three and one. All right, let's go with number one. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devoured. Oh, hey, Arcana came in. Of the mind flares who abducted you. Oh, you know what? It's something you do want to ask in chat. Do you want me to try and voice act Legalia? My feminine voice is nowhere near the register we picked for her. But uh, no other way she's actually going to say these things aloud. Oh, those of you on your phone? Oh, I'm sorry. I Yeah, yeah I guess the extension doesn't work on that because it's an overlay on the whole screen. All right, I'll, I'll try it out for this conversation. And then I and then I see a whole bunch of God, please stop. I'll stop. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Oh, all right. Here's your first. Here's your pretty much decision. Nexus here. Are we destroying the brain, or are we keeping the conversation going? I'll give you about ten more seconds. All right. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. All right, we have three checks to essentially work on the brain. We still have the option to destroy it, or we can just peace out of this whole conversation. No, I'm sorry. Two options are to try and get the brain out. One of is just inspect it. It looks like inspection uh, investigation is winning by a large majority, so I'll inspect the exposed brain. All right, have to roll a nine or higher. Six. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. All right, so we have two options to try and get it out. We either break the skull or we gently pry it from the skull. It looks like we do get a boost to dexterity, which means this will be a better option, but I'll still let you guys decide. Yep, just a normal brain talking to me. All right, looks like the majority is definitely in favor of dex save. Dex check. Still got to roll a nine or higher. Eighteen. Oh my gosh. Oh. The brain Ugh. His face. The skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. 
All right. So before I click this, you might immediately think, hey, no, we should mutilate it. That'll make it subservient. I will say, uh, without giving anything away, because I didn't even do this the first time. I, this part was way too gross. Uh, some tools are best left unblunted, but you decide. Wow, I'm honestly I'm surprised the majority is currently leaning in favor of sparing it like this. All right, ten seconds. All right, spare the creature. Well, that's just yeah, horrifying. Free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. What's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. This extension is very helpful. I was originally thinking I would just save the important stuff for polls, but now you can inter you guys can pick every single dialogue choice. What should I call you? Us. We are us. I'll call you what what kind of rando said. Brainy McBrain face. All right, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> early access. <laughs> wow. All right, well. That was fun. <laughs> Look what happened. This is you without your brain. All right, is there anything else of note in here? All right, no, let's go outside. Oh, okay. Well, this is going great. Looks like the Githyanki fo uh, followed us even into the hells. Oh, boy. Yeah, guys. Uh, things are still not going well out here. Oh, and we're just about to pass another citadel. Wave, everybody. All right. Well, this is horrific. All right, so we're supposed to jump. Follow me, Brainy. Good boy. Ah, so hard to tell sometimes if the... Oh, okay, the auto save kicked in. Hey, I know you. Tingles. 
Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, my head. What is this? Squall, you are no thrall. Blacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. Yeah, her. I noticed her mouth wasn't moving either. Sadly, I, 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 it's hard to tell sometimes whether it's my computer being janky or the game. And I think maybe that question will remain unanswered until this game's out of early access. Transform? What do you mean? We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. For those of you playing at home, that's now three names for Mind Flayers. Mind Flayers, Irlithid, and now Geich. Correct. I think the best name for the species is Illithid. Everything else is kind of just what people call them. Now they're Citadel. We're turning into Mind Flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. And you mine, though it pains me to say it. Oh, what snark. I like you. Is the helm our way out of here? It is where we might gain control of the Ga'arth, the ship. Once in command, we will deal with our Geich captors. Onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. Why are there two of them? It may be of use. Where's in the this fight other to come. one? What? Well, what the hell was that? Why would it look like there are two of them in that cutscene? All right, uh, hey, fighter. Oh, okay, I guess we're starting battle now. All right. Well, first things first, as every warlock should open a fight. Ooh, do I want to shoot that? Nah. Oh, well, you did one damage anyway. Hold on, hide. We definitely don't want our squishy warlock being hit. All right. Okay, we have Brainy back here who can only really do melee attacks. So we want him to kind of, and also he has a whole lot more health than either me or the Get the Yankee. So uh, go ahead and just, just stand there and look pretty. Now you, I think you, yeah, because you're not going to get close enough to actually hit them. Okay, yeah, you switch over to range, now you hit the tank. Didn't do any damage and just made our route worse. I regret everything. Alright, back to my turn. She's actually still hidden, but what's a warlock if not one that Eldritch Blasts? 
That's much better. Move up. Hide again. I don't even know if the smoke helps, but... You missed! Alright, move over here. I, yeah, move here. And you're done. You... Pin down. Or miss, like a failure. Alright, go over here. Okay, I want to mess with this a bit. You go over here, you go down here, you go here. You have Mage Hand as well. Oh no, they hit Brainy. Take care of that one. That's more like it. That's a Warlock cantrip. Well, that was you fun. Surprisingly adequate in battle. Okay, listen, lady. Now, Who's the, the one house. that did 20 damage in that entire fight when we're level 1? Meanwhile, you couldn't even bother to hit one of them. If you're going to keep acting like this, I'm not going to save your ass. But I will loot all these bodies. Oh, look, another long sword. Can't use that. All right, aside from that one, which I don't even think is worth going to get. All right, hey, Brainy, go heal yourself. And let's move on. The Eldritch Blast sounds like the Joe Cat video. Blast! Yeah, you know, I could hear that. Hey, hey, dragons, there's, there's a friend of yours here. Maybe, maybe kind of leave us alone. not handling this well. I fell down. Okay, now see, that's weird. In the cutscene, you see them pretty much break the bow off, but it's still here and firing at them. Oh, there's the bow. Okay, right there. Man, it's far away. Why'd I get knocked over? Oh, hey, a bow. Let's check out the inventory. It is not. Alright. Might as well give it back to me then. Okay, back to this. What's your take on this, Thrall? Brachizoid, thank you for the 18 raid. Thank you for the 18 party raid. Welcome to me trying to run through. Baldur's Gate 3 now. It's interesting. I 
Yeah, no, and this person talking about the same way. These people, they're enthralled, not in the sense that they're immediately mind controlled. It's almost like they're persuaded to see things a certain way and then act as the mind flare wants them to act. Oh, I know how to handle this guy. Really? Two damage? Uh, I mean, if you were here for the dragon uh, attack on the ship, uh, it's stuttering pretty bad. Although that, I think that was my computer. I, I think there's some, when it tries to go for big cinematics, I need to think the graphics should be about two settings lower than they are. Okay, I don't want to give you second wind because you don't have to heal. Aha! Oh, okay, I didn't even notice this guy over here. Critical miss. Brainy, you disappoint me. <sighs> Come on, guys. See, now that's how it's done. Let's move over here. I don't want those tanks to explode. That's better. I know, I know she's definitely a strength-based warrior, but there are times when attacking at range is just so much more convenient. Useless cup, don't mind if I do. Well, that looks like it's going well. Okay, hold on. Can you actually yeah, blast the door? And even then, you only do three damage. Right, shank the door. All right, sphincter door. I was looking forward to finding you again. Oof, come on, game. Okay, yeah, I need to turn the autosaves off. The thing is, if I turn off autosaves, I'm just worried. I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget to save, and then I'm gonna die at, like, the worst point. Get knocked back so far. Okay, you it's heal. Back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. Ooh, stuff to touch. Don't mind if I do. All right, hold on. Can I read this stuff? Unleash. Okay. I hope the Arcana translates. <sighs> nope. Don't know that one. Can't read the script. Okay, so we know one of these buttons is Unleash. The other two, we don't know. Do we want to Unleash? I mean, it seems like, you know, Unleash could mean, like, sick em, boys, but it could also mean just, hey, let them go. I'm seeing a lot of no's. I'm seeing a lot of unleash the horde. I think I'll just leave things be for now. Ooh, but I will take that stuff. You! Get me out of this town thing! What's the magic word? No time for stragglers. Move your mouth, honey. Touch nothing but the lore. <laughs> I like that. Good axiom. There's magic at work here, but what kind? Let's find out. 
Nope. The magic's configuration is like nothing you know. Nausea climbs up your throat the longer you try to discern its nature. For a latch that might open the lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? We must go. To the helm, we must go. Come on. There's got to be a way to open it. Do we at least give her the message of hey, we can't we can't even try? Pod stuck fast. I can't free you. Wait! That can't be. There has to be another way. Please! It cannot be helped. Come. Safe if she stays. Safe if we go. How do you know that, Brainy? Ooh, hey, look. Shiny stuff. Take. 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 Can I open this? Nope. Pick up an add to wares. That's what I like about Divinity 2. If you have enough strength, even chests you can't open can just be collected. Now I may have to do some sorting here. Okay, that suits my anxiety. Well, let's what's through this sphincter door? Oh, hello. And goodbye. Skrar. How many hosts of these gay infected? Oh dear. Well, this ship's been busy. dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Drained cleric? What did they drain out of you? Oh, hey, look, a key! What I wonder what you go to. Ah, okay. There we go. Onyx and more gold. Alright, what does this say? Perfect. Okay, so I succeeded that. It says perfect. But the way she said it, perfect. Like, like that's an action to be done. Do we click chat? Do we click perfect? I'm not seeing a single... Okay, well, hold on. One person said no perfect. Okay, I'm going to look around the room more, but uh, Moss, if you may, create a poll that says push the perfect button. And then yes, no. I want to look around more. Yes, 
yes, yes, brain in a pod. We still have this console, which we only know one... What the... What is that? Oh, infinite health. It's not breaking. Can I try this with someone else? Apparently not. Hey, do you read this? <laughs> Can't reach. <laughs> all right, all right, move over here. Stop doing that. All right, it looks like uh, 27 to 15 in favor of pushing the perfect button. Let's go push the perfect button. Hey, you know, I heard you. I'm busy. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh boy, those tentacles are not doing well. Cane char. Changed to the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Can I push it again? I don't want to push it again. <laughs> the newborn mind flayer stares at you. Weak and dazed. Wow. Uh... It looks like they're treating the tentacles like hair, and it's not going well. They are all over the place. Okay, bye! Alright, now let's mess with this console. Alright, so we know this one says unleash. I think it might let them go. I'm gonna push it. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Well, that was disappointing. Now we have the two mystery buttons. Uh, center or right? We do not know what they say. Chat. What button should I push first? That was, that was a hint for a poll. Okay, see, you know, people are saying both. You're right, you're right, both should be pressed, but there is, I can only push one at a time, so I have to pick. <laughs> the save button. You know what, while, that, while that's going on, I'll save. <laughs> Looks like the right right side button is winning by six votes in the poll. All right, just about five seconds left. The center one is almost gonna win. All right, looks like the right button wins. They exploded. Now what happens if I press this one? Nothing. 
Well, that was disappointing, but hey, look, bodies to loot. Ooh, this one has a candle. Well, I don't know why. This one has a mug and gold. All right, well, that's that. Wait, that tapping. Oh, it's, it's her. Did this change at all? No, no, get over here. Okay, well, good luck with that. <laughs> I guess nothing left but door number three. Oh boy, oh boy, that, oh boy. This game did not want to enter this room. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Because that's worked so well before. Oh, look, more brain aquariums. All right, let's go. Nope, oh, auto save. I failed Arcana, it really just left her to die. I mean, I don't know, but, you know, <laughs> definitely sound like D&D &D for a skill check to really screw something up. Singer, and thank you for the resub. Love you all. Aw, thanks. Oh, come on, Textures. You can do it. You can make it. I think he ate his brain, but the wing is freaking out. Okay, yeah. Having, like, hair textures on these tentacles is not going over well with these models. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Sure, whatever, boss. Do it. We will deal with the gate after we escape. Do you want to say that right connect in front of him? The nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. All right. Looks like we're facing more imps. Okay, you come over here. And guess what? Second verse, same as the first. Eldritch Blast. Good kill. Good kill. Alright, move over here. Hide? I can't hide. I don't want to move you into the middle of the tank. Yeah, what, how much are you going to do with that? It's not pathetic. I just know if I run her in here, those two will gang up on her and most likely kill her. Or down her. Okay, Brainy. Time for you to dash and die like a good dog. And I know that contradicts what I said during the Civilization stream, but hey, this, this is a dog facsimile, not a real dog. Move over here. Next move. Good so far? Uh, I mean, it is definitely early access. It has a lot of that uh, early access jank. But I'm having fun. I mean, I'm on a nautiloid hurtling through hell in the middle of a three-way fight between imps and mind flayers and all kinds of abominations. You don't usually get this at level one. We need to get out of here now. I agree. Legalia, but you're gonna have to kill some imps first. Preferably that one. Okay, well that was a good try. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you do the funnel kill? Nice. Good job. I switched your sword. Finish this off? Awesome. Did it have anything interesting? Of course it didn't. How about him? Nope. Alright, keep going. And you're done. If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. Really? I thought we'd just have a nice nap. Come on, Legalia. Think with your head. Alright, there's nothing. Alright. This may hurt. Let's dash a bit closer.
Oh, oh boy. It's Claw. Hurry before they strike. Can't you tell them to not attack? I mean, aren't they only here for you? Oh, great, more imps. Then I move the squishy warlock out to the front. This ain't gonna end well. Split these intruders away! The is ours. Uh, you're gonna have to... Yeah, you're gonna have to make a long run here. You're way too far back. I hope the game is considered the fact that maybe the Mind Flayer is going to die here if he keeps taking damage like this. Oh, you know what? Fair point. They could just believe she's under the Illithid's control. I, that's fair. Alright. Hopefully Hugh will attack him, so let's see if we can't get the other ones off our backs. Good shot. I am liking our warlock, guys. I, although I apparently want her to die because I just moved her right to the front. In your opinion, is it worth is it worth the sixty bucks now? I have not played enough to say one way or the other. Like I have played about nice the first crit of the game, and it was brainy. Okay, well if I move away, that's opportunity attacks. So, and these are both single target. So let's just keep blasting. Okay, the other shit uh, Gith Yankee will go next, so as long as she's able to get the kill. Okay. Oh, you know what? So here's a nice thing to add to the game. These little bonus action things you can do here, this might help us get... It didn't work. <laughs> if I was able to shove him back, I could have gotten him out of our range of attack, so we could have moved over. Uh, but I failed, so that's it. Alright, she has her sword out. Uh, let's, well, there's only one enemy there, so let's just go for that. Alright, good job. Still in combat, though. Yeah, go loot this Mind Flayer. Nope, how about him? Nope, alright, nothing good. Moving on. Uh, save us, Brainy. <laughs> go attack the commander. Aw, Brainy. Dash, right? Yeah, dash. Now go over there. Run, Lagalia, run! Forward, Istic, before more dragons come. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. Oh boy. Oh no. Wow, that fire does not look all that pretty. Our tail is through the floor. I shouldn't be criticizing the game this much, but yeah, no, this is kind of janky. And the dragon's gone. <laughs> and we're flying. And ow. And we're back! Gotta pull those tentacles apart, or else this becomes a hentai! Almost. Come on, reach for it, Legalia. Reach! Use your mage hand! Well, that's a face. Now, full disclosure, 
when I tried playing this game last, the game crashed right about here. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't happen again. All right, chat. So that was uh, that looked like our tutorial session. Uh, any any thoughts? We weren't able to use hex or dissonant whispers because we only have the one spell slot, and I was waiting for a bigger target than an imp to come at us. Is this before Descent into Avernus or after? I believe it is not that long after Descent into Avernus. Uh, Descent into Avernus is a game uh, kind of campaign they put out for the actual tabletop Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. It, it chronicled uh, the fall of El Turiel, uh, I guess you could just say the disappearance of El Turiel, and your, your, the characters that take part in it investigate why it disappeared and try to get it back. I'm not sure if the ending to that campaign is actually considered by the game, or if they just said, oh hey, El Turiel's missing. How about that? Are you going to splurge for a 370? Uh, me, Quinn, personally, uh, I don't have that kind of money. As for the company, for one of our uh, computers at the office, uh, I think at, in the first place we're going to have to start using the office again uh, to be able to justify purchasing a new graphics card for our streaming PC. Is this co-op locked or is it available during this early access? I uh, I don't think multiplayer co-op is built into the game yet. It will definitely be coming, but I don't know if it's here yet. And yes, th th this game is based on the uh, rules for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. How did I join TFS? Uh, I talked to them about a couple of things and then said, hey, by the way, I'm just finishing law school. If you need someone to help you with your organization, especially in a legal way, I'm here. And they said, yes, we do. Please come help us. And I did. And then we found out we like each other. So I kept working with them. Guys, I don't know if this is incredibly long loading time or if the game's crashed and I just haven't realized it yet. <laughs> Why not both? Oh boy, I think you're right. <laughs> Does Team Four Star need a resident physics major? Uh, I can tell you right now, uh, no. In fact, in a general sense, we're pretty much in a hiring freeze thanks to the pandemic and the fact that a whole lot of our stuff needs to get done at people's own offices at home. <laughs> the loading screen ends and it's just a thanks for playing screen. I know there's something after this, but I also know that after the tutorial, the game seems to want to crash. Oh, hold on. The game seems to want to do... So oh, okay, that loading bar moved. It moved, guys. I don't want to uncork the champagne, but my hopes have been lightened. It may... You know, so... You bring this up in chat, it may be an altered rule set. Like, I know they changed the rules for that... Uh, true strike cantrip because the original one sucks ass and they at least made this one last two turns uh, so it's not that horrific game theory of you get advantage on your next attack okay why don't I just attack twice and get that same benefit with possibly double the damage <laughs> the 
send the loading screen your energy. Everyone, raise your arms up. Raise up and hope. Okay, the loading bar is full. Now we just have to actually get past the loading screen. Any idea if modding will be supported? I don't know. I know Lyrian has, like, for Divinity 2, they were still adding stuff into the game as, like, nice extras uh, since earlier this year. Uh, so I don't know if individuals will be able to mod it, but I know that uh, Lyrian definitely uh, supports their games. Ghost of the North, thank you for the 200 bits. That's right. G bits for the loading screen. We believe in you. Clap. Clap. Don't let the game die. Clap. You know, it's times like these you kind of wish the game had more than like five pieces of concept art to cycle through. They're nice pieces, but when you see them ten times in a row... Oh, okay. Hold on. Black screen. Thank you for the 100 bits. What does this mean, guys? I think this might be the point where it either moves forward or gives up. Oh, oh, don't just fade the loading screen back in. Okay, hold on, I hear music. If Purgatory is just nothing but nice kind of elevator music, I guess that's okay. <laughs> In before Skyrim intro, we wake up and we're on the cart. <laughs> okay, hold on. My mouse is still here, so that's something. As long as I hear the in-game music, I have hope. Not much hope, but hope. I'm sure this is going to be great for all the people on the YouTube. Oh, hold on. My journal just updated. It's definitely trying to load an actual shot. Because the music's now stuttering. Uh, in this moment of silence, I'd like to apologize for the people catching this on the Stream 4 Star Archive. I know you guys can maybe fast forward to the next the actual visual bit of the game, but uh, to those of you just having this run in the background as noise, uh, I'm sorry it's gotten so quiet. Oh, okay, hold on. The extension's updating? Okay. If our companion's gone on the extension, that means the game is actually still talking to the uh, to the companion app, which means it's still working. Sing us a song, You're the Lawyer Man. Oh, God. Everything I know is probably something from Hamilton. <laughs> Define working. Eh, something's happening.
Sing us the Helsinger Bridge cover for Hamilton. I do not remember the lyrics to that song. Uh, unfortunately, the Alexander Hamilton and slash Alexander Anderson ones were the ones that were the most lyrically uh, integrated. It's hard for me to remember all of them. You know, I really like You'll Be Back and the songs that have that same motif in it. Oh, I hear fire. Fire's burning. I think Brainy's on fire, guys. <gasps> we made it! And things are not going well. Especially since the sound has now cut out completely. Oh boy, this poor game is trying to cut through all these scenes before the textures can actually load. Plants look nice. That fire might be your computer. I don't know, the way it's handling this, you might be right. Okay, okay, that's a smooth farm rate. And now it's gone. Oh, your hair looks like a dirty mop. Oh, and the goblins go to war. Oh, wow, that waterfall. The fire and smoke are still moving, but the game model's frozen. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. Oh, oh, what a nice view out this hole. Oh, hi. Uh, well, this isn't this awkward. <laughs> Brained her right out of the ship. Well, guys, wave goodbye to Legalia. She was fun to play through, but, uh... Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's good. So I'm sure that a uh, massive head wound is uh, probably going to leave a mark, but all right. So now we have landed at Ravage Beach. Very apt name. Oh boy, look at those tentacles. This has not gone well. Textures on the rock still loading in. All right. So guys. Uh, I know we just spent... Yeah, no HP loss. Ain't that a trip. Uh, I know we spent a good portion of this stream just getting our character ready. Uh, but it is almost midnight and uh, I have got to get to bed. However, I will say we will not have to wait a week to come back to this. Uh, I'm probably going to do a bit of tinkering to see if I can't get my computer to handle this better. But I think some of this is just going to be early access jank to deal with throughout the playthrough. But uh, if... As long as there aren't any major complications, I'm probably going to get this going to, uh, tomorrow night. Or, it's almost past midnight, so I guess it'd be tonight. Uh, after the TalkCast pod show, which, hey, we're having on uh, 3 o'clock Central Time on Wednesday, tomorrow. Uh, I will probably boot this back up at around 7 o'clock and see if we can't get a bit deeper into the game proper. Uh, but thanks for hanging out. I had a good time. I know, I know, I will save. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna pull a grant.
Uh, but uh, thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys can uh, come back tomorrow as I continue to play through. I'm, uh, since I'm not restrained by our normal stream schedule, I might see if I can't keep this going, maybe not every night. Thursday night we have Among Us, I'm going to be pretty tired after that, but maybe Friday night after we do Fall Guys. Uh, and then after that, it uh, just depends on when I'm free. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow at about 7 p.m. Central, uh, and we'll keep this going. I'm going to wait for the save to finish before I actually close the stream out. Oh, and I'll be uploading this to the uh, Stream 4 Star Archive. I, I, for some people, it's probably, be, it's probably hard to stick around for three hours from 9 o'clock to midnight. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can't keep this up on the Stream 4 Star Archive as long as it's not visually hideous. And I'm running out of stuff to talk about, so hey game, maybe finish this save. Oh boy. I thought I had a really good sense of timing there. I didn't. I done gone screwed up. Sell shirts! Yes! No! Uh, our Stream 4 Star... Uh, storefront on Shuck Robot has the new TFS Tune shirt. So if you have uh, liked the TFS Tunes pattern with the Shenrons and the Sine Waves, I think it's pretty bitchin'. Uh, but if you think that's cool, head over to Shark Robot slash Team Four Star. Oh my gosh, game! Come on, guys! I really like this game, but but it it has early access jank. I if. If you're interested in this, but kind of don't want to deal with all these hiccups, I will not blame you for waiting until this game reaches the final version. And in fact, if I am if I help you make that decision, uh, I'm very happy to do so. I think I'm just going to end the stream now. It's, it's going to take its sweet time doing this. All right, have a good night, guys.